Most hay farmers nowadays put up what are referred to as big bales, a three by four foot packed tight bale that can weigh up to 1,200 pounds. The traditional small bales are hard to come by, but still in demand. And it's that niche market demand that has hay farmer Kyle Meyer taking big back to small. Well, the bales that we were bringing in are traditionally a three by four. They average 1,200 pounds normally. Um, and then the bales we're cutting them into are 50 pound bales and they're 16 by 18 by 22. Located on the Rathrum Prairie between Coeur d'Alene and Spokane, where horses are seen everywhere, the K&B Hay Company found their niche market. Uh, we're 90% we're horse market here. Meyer uses what's called a soft hay press to slice the big ones into several little ones. And basically, it's, it's a, uh, a small bale conversion system. They take a big bale, and this will accept 3x4s or 3x3s. It slices it into thirds, and then the, it runs a slab through at a time. The end result? 50 pound bales, preferred by young and old alike. Actually, I thought some of our boarding stables would have been the last ones who'd want to switch over to these, but they were, they were kind of the first because uh, the girls they have feeding the horses can actually pick up the bales, and it, the 100 pound bales, they, I guess they have trouble. <laughs> Older folks seem to be kind of the ones who are last to jump on a bandwagon with something, but they were kind of the first with these ones because had one guy tell me the other day he had hernia surgery, thought from picking up 120 pound hay bales. And so he really liked these where he could pick them up. Hay farmer Rob Lunsford, who puts up big hay bales, is happy to see the success of K&B Hay Company. I think it's great. I, I wished him all the success in the world when he built that thing. <laughs> Just for another market. With the Idaho Farm Bureau, the voice of Idaho agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.